People ask me, what's the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's disease? Dementia is actually a group of symptoms that occur where people's brain is not, they're not processing information the way they used to, and it's severe enough to interfere with their ability to do things. For instance, people who have dementia may have trouble paying their bills, they may not be driving as well as they used to, they may have trouble entertaining, um, cooking, a, cooking a meal, going shopping. Dementia is not a disease, though. It's some symptoms, and there are many diseases that can cause those symptoms. The most common disease, by far, is Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is usually a disease of older adults, but occasionally, unfortunately, it happens in, in younger people. It's important to know the difference, um, the different types of dementia and what's actually causing it because the treatments are, are a bit different. How do we find out if somebody has Alzheimer's disease or some other form of dementia? The best way to do this is to see a specialist in cognitive disorders, in memory problems. And what we do is we talk to the person and we talk to somebody who has a lot of information about what's been happening with this person, usually a family member, a child, or a spouse. And we want to know how has this, how did it start? When did you first notice symptoms of this? And how has it progressed over time? We also do detailed cognitive testing. And these are puzzles. So we're asking people to solve problems that look at different areas of brain function how they're processing visual information, how they're processing information that they hear, and how, they, uh, how they're able to write, how they're able to speak, what's their vocabulary, their language. And then we do a few blood tests. There is no blood test for Alzheimer's disease. There are some scans that can give us an idea if this is Alzheimer's disease, but they're rarely necessary to uh, clarify the diagnosis. So often we'll do an MRI, but it won't tell us if somebody has Alzheimer's disease or not. It'll tell us perhaps if somebody has something else.